So hey everyone, here's how to use the time slice effect in Premiere Pro. So the first thing you want to do is have your clips ready. There should be some sort of basic transition between them. So as you can see, mine has a basic scale. And what you want to do is just export this segment. So you can either do this by just simply exporting. But if you do have other stuff on your timeline and you just want these two clips to export, what you can do is press I on your keyboard at the beginning. And if you head towards the end, just press O. In fact, just head one more keyframe ahead and then press O. Sometimes the last frame does not get exported. So this is just to make sure that it's all together and then head over to your export panel change the range to source in and out import your clip onto the timeline and search for the time slice effect there are two ways you can use this so the first is to just add the effect onto the clip directly this effect will look different depending on a transition so mine is a scale out and by default the slice direction is set to negative 90. if i were to decrease that value you can see that the slice direction is changing setting it to zero makes it vertical setting it to 60 makes it go across and of course negative 90 and 90 are horizontal if you yours is scaling in or scaling out like mine then you can leave it at negative 90 or you can choose something like 90. This is what negative 90 looks like and this is what 90 looks like. All it's doing is flipping the direction of where it moves towards. If you have a slide transition that goes left or right you can change the direction to zero. In fact here's an example of a slide and with the effect it looks like this. You can improve this by keyframing the slice number so let's set it to one at the beginning, head between the two clips and then set it to something like eight. Graph this so that it peaks in the middle so just pull the handle all the way to the left make sure it's on level the velocity should be below 0 0 0.8 that looks fine and then if you head all the way towards the end just one keyframe back set it back to one click on the first keyframe and cut just so it makes graphing easier so i'm just going to graph this as well the velocity is at negative 1.3 that looks fine and what i'm going to do is just paste it again so head back to the start and paste the result is okay it's a little choppy so what you can do is click on the interp frames and once you tick that box what it's going to do is smoothen out the transition it seems to look worse when the slice number is high so I'm going to set it to something like 6 and that looks much better overall. You can apply the same method to the first example I showed you so if I just remove the effect and just copy it over it works fine when the angle is set to 0 you can see it looks good but if I pick something like 90 you can see that the transition is horizontal instead of vertical. It looks a bit quick so what I'm going to do is just increase the slice number to 9 and I like the result it looks much better than before. I can make it diagonal as well so something like that. Negative 1 to 8. The slice direction is now diagonal you can always get rid of the keyframes just by clicking on the stopwatch and if i increase it to something like six it turned out looking much better than before the higher the value so for example 12 the smoother and the slower it is like that another way to use this is to apply the effect onto an adjustment layer it may turn out looking better depending on your clips and it's a great option especially if the effect is not working on the clip itself but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace